Today I'm going to be sharing my first attempt at an all-natural fabric wild camping sleep system for use in UK upland areas. What are the good bits about it, what are the bad bits about it and how can I further improve it? So this is my typical wild camping setup or synthetic wild camping setup for use in sort of normal 5 to 10 degrees sp spring autumn weather in the UK. Uh, it's all, you know, fairly old now, but it all serves me well and still works well. Um, we've got a Thermarest Pro Light 3, which is a, a three-quarter length sleep net. A Mango Venom 300, which is a, a lightweight down bag. And an Alp Kit Hunker bivy bag. Now, under a sort of conventional tarp setup, those three can be perfectly warm, dry and comfortable in, in most conditions. As I say, when it's not, not too cold. Now the big problem of course with this system is it's virtually entirely plastic. Barring the down, in the down bag, the bulk of this is going to be around a thousand years after we're all gone. Can I make a system of comparable performance without all of the plastic? Now this whole setup weighs just over two kilos so it's obviously possible to go a lot lighter and of course my challenge for a natural setup is to see if I can get it down towards something comparable in terms of weight. So this is version one of an all natural fibre or non-synthetic sleep system to replace my conventional setup. I'll talk through each element from the outside in. The first piece, or the outer, is a wax cotton over bag or, or light bivy bag to some extent. It's not a full head covered bivy bag, so it wouldn't be suitable for use sort of out in the open in torrential rain, but for maybe summer bivies and such like, uh, it would be perfectly adequate to keep the, the dew and the moisture off. Um, this is something I've made myself and I'll actually include in a follow up plans on, on how I made this and, and the material costs, etc. The next layer, so the main insulation layer, is a classic conventional army wool blanket. Now, there's a number of ways this can be improved on, and I'll also cover on those in a follow-up. But for insulation in five, sort of five degrees centigrade plus, um, to be teamed with these other things, it seems seems pretty adequate performance-wise. Now we all love a ex-military style army woolen blanket. Um, bushcrafters favourites however as I said they are super heavy this one pretty standard British Army version weighs in at 1.8 kilos now there's a few options here if I'm doing a sort of a small overnighter with a, a fairly low distance to travel then maybe I won't mind the weight so much and the versatility of the blankets worth it however I'm kind of intending to use the setups in British upland areas and mountainous environments um, and therefore the weight penalty isn't so good. So how am I going to replace this? Um, I've got an idea around using a, well creating a silk end down quilt and again I'll post a follow-up video on the creation of that and hopefully that will be able to shave a good a good kilo or so or half you know 750 grams off the weight of the blanket or the weight of the whole system to bring it more into line with the synthetic system. Inside the wool blanket to add an extra bit of warmth I have this silk sleeping bag liner and I'm also doing a follow-up on how much insulation that adds adds up. Now so you've got insulation and um, some degree of weather protection for use under the tarp setup and there's one third element which is another another homemade element and it's it's this device which is a balloon bed. Now I'll, I'll talk about this in a bit more detail, but again, this is homemade because this isn't something that is commercially available in a natural fabrics form. Now the balloon bed, which is a bit of a staple of mountain, extra ultra lightweight mountain marathons, is a, a commercially available product um, from one supplier who, who I think are the guys who invented it. It weighs about 100 grams and it's made of a, a, th a thin nylon and you use latex so natural latex, so a biodegradable substance, you use these natural latex balloons to fill the balloon bed and provide the comfort. Now of course the, the commercially available version is no good for me in this um, 
natural fabric sleeping system. So I've constructed my own from, again, from a lightish waxed cotton for use within this setup. Um, with, with actually, I haven't got the eighth balloon in there, an eight balloon width setup there. I'll put plans for the dimensions of how I've made this as well in another follow-up video. So of course the million dollar question is, does, does this do the job in terms of adequate replacement for this synthetic setup? And in one respect, yes. So in five degree plus, five degree Celsius plus weather, this is actually pretty warm and comfortable, um, including the balloon bed, um, which provides sort of a nice little bit of extra insulation and comfort from the ground. So there we have it, natural fibre system and synthetic system. Synthetic system is far lighter at around two kilos versus the just over three kilos of the the, the natural fibre system. And as I say, plan next plan is to upgrade the army wall blanket with a superior solution for insulation um, with weight reduction.